Now, we know that many of you managed to catch up on BBC World News on your travels, often in hotel rooms. Have you ever wondered what happens to the bars of soap you may use only once or twice before they're replaced? Every day, millions of bars of soap are dumped in landfills. And every day, according to the World Health Organization, several thousand children die from hygiene-related illnesses. That is why the Hong Kong-based charity Clean the World Asia is working with hotels across the region to recycle soap and send it to families who need it. Well, photographer Tracy Wong volunteered to help showcase their work. Her exhibition is called Endless Possibilities, and we can speak to Tracy now in Hong Kong. Thank you so much for joining us, Tracy, here on Impact. Can you tell us first about the work you've seen the charity do? What are they uh, doing with all these little bars of soap? Thanks for having me, BBC. Um, so what Clean the World Asia does is they take these recycled bars of soap and distribute them to people in need. A lot of their soaps go to the Philippines to people in poverty, and hoping that this, the, the soap education and the bars of soap can bring people out of poverty into self-sufficiency. And you have been to the Philippines, haven't you? Well, tell, tell me about the reaction you had from, from people there, from the families getting these donations. It was lovely. We were there for a very short trip for about three days to visit different families. We interviewed kids and their mothers um, just to understand how they receive the soaps and what they think of it. So it was really nice to see how the kids, they say that they don't get sick as much. The mothers say that they are actually, they get sick less often and they, um, you know, enjoy the really good smell from these high quality soaps. And hygiene as I know you've said, is, is, is a matter of dignity as well. <clears throat> Definitely. Excuse me. <clears throat> so um, the matter of dignity, yes. Um, it helps people go to, go to their jobs on time because they don't get sick. The kids actually get to go to school and not miss anything. Um, the, the bars of soap actually allow them to do something that is beyond what their current situation gives them. And Tracy, you've got an exhibition uh, with, with some images from your, your travels. Exactly. So this exhibition is actually a mix of photos. There's a video as well and a little bit of like cute little moments. The kids we interviewed in the Philippines, they did little doodles for us. So you can see their hopes and dreams and their personalities through these drawings. Um, most of the pieces in this exhibition are my own photographs. They're taken in Hong Kong at the recycling center for the soaps in Hong Kong and also the, the trip in the Philippines. So we interviewed these kids, we took their portraits, some candid photos of them receiving the soap education. So we did a little bit of role playing with them. Um, there's evil soap, uh, evil, sorry, evil germs and super soap. So they kind of fight in this little live action play. Tracy, very good to hear from you and thank you for waiting patiently to talk to us from Hong Kong. Thank you very much. We just want